I'm going to do another video on um, on um, on AC analysis. So um, let's try this question that we have here. We give it an R an RL. So we have an inductor there connected to a two thirty two thirty volt with a frequency of fifty hertz supply with a power rating of fifty of five hundred VA, and we know that five hundred VA. Let me say I have that power triangle. Oh, that turns out to be a good thing. Okay, um, VA is here. VA is here. I don't know what's wrong with my pen. VA is here. And VAR is here. And um, what is the other one? Watt is here. Real power. Okay, we have reactive and whatnot and apparent power, all those terms. Okay, cool. Then let's try to attempt 4.1. 4.1, what is the current in flowing in the RC circuit? We know power is equals to VI. And it's not really power. Okay, let me not use that one. It's going to be, let me not say power here. Let me say S. It was not really power but a combination of both a real and complex power okay then we'll have equals to v we're giving v to be 230 um, and then i is what we're looking for we know power here was 500 and then you know what we do now we take our calculator and let it do the math for us even if it's easy math i'm just used to using a calculator please most of it mostly because i'm trying to make sure that when i teach people really get how i use my calculator because i think it's one of my sort of powers to dating um that's my current let me shift start a 217 and then current is going to equal to 2.17 i don't know what i wrote here amperes so that's going to be my current what is the total impedance of the of the circuit that's question uh, let me say that is 4.2 you know from our vir i like calling it vir uh i don't know what i just did from our vir which is ohms law i like calling it vir we already have this we have this and now they want this so we can just say um if you want that we can just say impedance let me not call it impedance let me call it a proper way it's going to be impedance of which is z i don't know what's wrong with me okay cool so all these scratchy things i don't know how they landed up here okay cool so it's going to be z is going to equal to v all over i we know v was supplied with two three zero and note for this problem um we are assuming that uh, everything is an rms because you'd be like why is not dividing by two now everything is an rms this thing is an rms so okay cool all over i we just know i now to be 2.17 and then remember this is dot at a then we can now have our calculator again to help us with the numbers uh the calculator is just here what the calculator does it will take that two three is yes, two three zero all over a for current remember i saved it there it's going to be a very nice thing with some both complex and I don't get the reason why it has complex and real terms. Let me check. Let me confirm my A. What is on my A? Oh, then I didn't save my A very well. It's cool. Shift. Start A. Alpha A. Oh, I don't like it again. Okay. What is it A exactly? Just overwrite that. Okay. Um, 
what is the question that I did? This is the number that I'm trying to shift. Store it's A. Then horizon A. Okay, I can't overwrite, so it means I have to clear everything. Okay, cool. I didn't want to do that. Clear memory. Yes. Cool. Then let me look at my numbers. Okay, I can't really have it here. Yeah. Okay, cool. And then it's going to be 230 all over. I'm going to put this rounded off. It will be very not good for my accuracy. Okay, cool. This is at shift door at B. So this answer is going to be one one oh one oh five point nine start at B. Now we have let's look at the next question then. We have impedance. And then the next question is use the total magnitude of impedance that was used um to find the the inductance. Okay, cool. So I think it's worth remembering that if we have an let me say this is our this is the complex plane and this is the real plane. So if you want the actual impedance that we just that is here, that is made up of Pythagoras. So this is Z. Remember, uh, inductor will be here and resistor will be here. Cool. So if you want Z squared is going to be equal to um, impedance of the resistor squared plus let me just put it like that and impedance of the inductor all squared then we know this one is going to be 1 over 5.9 then we're interested in the impedance of the inductance then we take and then we're going to take minus impedance of this one which is exactly r1 i don't know why did they give us r1 let me check they gave us 20 ohms so it's going to be here minus 20 m squared is going to equal to the impedance squared of that one but i like just squaring it here then losing that one then impedance l it's going to be let the calculator do its job while you just watch and relax so it's going to be i'm just going to be not keeping my values from now on because i already ruined it 0.9 i'm just going to use whatever approximate values that i have written so i don't think it's really maths it's because the point here is getting the idea how things work so also i have thoughts in the previous video i'll uh, just check it if you didn't watch it i did teach how to use actually the calculator when you work with complex numbers so it's 1039 okay it's going to be 103.9 impedance k ohms this is of, of an inductor um then then okay we already got um total that was four i think there was four point there was four point three okay now we up for okay now we are trying to attempt four point four four point four used uh the re uh, reactant calculated in four three and then they have to okay also in the previous video i did talk about that that um impedance of the inductor is going to equals to w l j where this is um you know your your what do you call it i can't call it frequency so you call it in, in, in physics they call it your angular speed this is your inductance this is for the fact that it's on a complex plane so we know everything we know xl is going to be 103.9 is going to be this one we know it um where is it we know it we know frequency and also did a video on how to change frequency okay remember this is velocity in some sense so velocity is got to distance over time so distance we are moving in a circle two pi all over hmm? distance all over time right and then if we are trying to solve for time we're going to take that on here 
then we have time or period let me not say time all over omega and then if you want frequency remember time is that related to frequency so i can just say frequency is omega all over omega all over 2 pi my pen really lags i think my derivations here are good but you should know them by head just means i don't practice that i don't know them okay cool then we want to put omega there or there is omega there so it's going to be frequency 2 pi so it's going to be 2 pi frequency j for complex there's going to be 103.9 2 pi what is my frequency let's go back i think it was given 50 hertz so we don't have to convert exactly 50 hertz goes here and then we'll have that complex thing and then there's a l here that i lost so it's keep coming that's an hour unknown so with that being said okay we can just solve for l inductant it's going to be 103.9 all over 2 pi 15 so if ever that you spot a mistake don't mind to come uh, to comment and tell me where i did it so obviously my mouse content is teaching how it works not giving you correct answers so i hope in that process at least i'm able to give you correct answers so the answers are zero point um i mean zero three point nine all over let me just open two uh, pi oh and then i have 50 here close then i can get the answer i hope it is correct even if it's not zero point three three hundreds i think the correct unit so we have solved um we have solved uh for this one is done this one is done this is done this is done now calculate the voltage um voltage values of vl voltage across uh the inductor voltage across the the resistor okay cool so i think it's very easy to just say um voltage divider voltage across let me say resistor is easy to work with the resistor is going to be the resistance is 20 all over resistance total because i'm doing resistance divider resistance total or impedance total let me use that word it's going to be 20 plus um i think you had 103.9 multiplied by voltage in the source of which i think what was my voltage in the source obviously i forgot let me go back and check i think it was given to be two dirty then i can go back to my problem to dirty um it's going to be 230 volt then i divided and then i check my calculator for a correct answer for some reason my thingy today is lagging so i was able to bring my calculator and then i'm going to have 20 all over 20 plus the impedance of the inductor okay it's going to be 13.9 i think voltage divider to 30 i hope i didn't do any mistake i'm getting 37.126 37.126 that is on the resistor but if i want um uh, on the i'm going to have on um, 230 minus 3 remember the voltage divides across all the things that are in the circuit then i'm going to get some number that i hope makes sense and then i'm going to have 230 minus my answer 192 it's look correct at least to me 192 comma something that i forgot to re remember I meant to record from the calculator so if it happens that you don't understand something don't forget to comment and share the video with your friends and classmates 
what is to remember uh, for the questions like these ones you have to remember voltage divider voltage divider voltage where you want should be the impedance where you want a question mark all over impedance total multiply by mm, multiply by what multiply by <laughs> v source why well, i'm not thinking okay v source whatever i'm trying to write here v source and then also the one that i, I failed to remember time oh i said no not this one Forgive me for clashing. Omega is velocity is distant to pi all over time, of which is time. Then I can flip this down. Time is going to equal to pi. I don't know why I can't remember this again. I have to derive it again. Then I can say my frequency. That's what I was looking for. Frequency is going to equal to omega all over 2 pi. And remember that impedance from for an inductor it's going to be omega l j if i remember very well of which you can write as you know omega from here it's going to be 2 pi frequency l j and then impedance for a capacitor is going to be 1 all over omega c j then that, that could be written as 1 all over 2 pi frequency then I'll have, um, I think, J. Did I miss a thing? I hope I didn't. Capacitor. And then you get the correct answer from these two. Remember to uh, to put your calculator, your Casio, into complex so that um, you can work easy with your thing. Remember I recommend 9, 9, one calculator which is the same that i was using on the video remember i'm not sponsored i'm just recommending the, the the machine because i find it easy to use considering all this complex thing remember you can just say set up and make it complex with number two then now you can add all the complex things that you want to work with things like this you can just shift change them to other form from rectangular to rectangle that's very easy you can take conjugate if you want um, for calculating power, I think we need some conjugate somehow. You can take a conjugate of some things. Um, you can get arguments of the answers. I'm telling you all the functions that I could remember that are important for writing a test. You can get arguments. Uh, also, what more? You can, you can also shift store answers somewhere. Let me say I have my answer here. I can shift store it at A. Whenever I'm trying to get it alpha A, I can have it here. I can actually add it with some numbers and then keep on it keep on stored there and last if, if if you're doing another problem I recommend that you don't do a mistake like me you have to shift clear all the memory so that if there is some number that is saved somewhere it doesn't interact with your new new values that you want to work with other than that please don't forget to like subscribe share thank you for watching and good luck on your exams.